This is the truth, man. Channel is no metric, no simp in all subjects. Channel giving you the truth. Uh, as you can see, I'm about to play a clip from Dr. John Campbell. Look at his subscribers. Look at his videos. His videos have not been taken down. Videos have not been taken down. Therefore, uh, neither should my videos be taken down for playing things that he said and commenting on them on YouTube. So let us begin. Talk to you about this, and I've just worked out how to do it. So, um, oh, this is the data from the UK here. Um, second screen, there we go. Uh, and as we see, this, this is the latest data here. So this is published on a daily basis. So later on today, we'll get the update. But th that, that information I've just given you there, the 300 and the 24 was the data for the 23rd of December. Now, uh, Tim Spector, um, COVID uh, symptom tracker app, lead scientist, of course. Um, so um, Omicron, similar cold type symptoms to Delta in the first few days. Oh, okay. So the cold. early features of Omicron are the same as the early features, at least in vaccinated people with Delta. Uh -oh. And that is basically a common cold type features. Omicron features uh, yeah, less right? loss of the sense of smell and less of the loss less. of the sense of taste. So basically, these can happen. Loss of the sense of smell can happen. Loss of the sense of taste can happen. It's just that it's um, less common with Omicron. Yeah, you're that. Uh, having Fair five use. or more symptoms less common with Omicron than Delta. I'm not so a medical professional, but with, he with is. Omicron, people are having fewer symptoms than they did with Delta. Now, we don't know this for sure yet, but what Tim Spector's data consistently found was that people who had more clinical features, more different symptoms, in the first few days of the illness, of the infection, went on to get more severe disease. So the fact that people are getting less symptoms so far... 930,000 views still up. ...is positive in that it means they are likely to get less severe disease if, if that trend is continued. So that, that's fairly okay. promising from that data as well. Fairly but promising, more great infections with Delta uh, after two or three doses of the vaccine. So we're getting way more breakthrough infections. We know probably 10 times more breakthrough infections than we did with Delta. Oh my but of goodness. course, if it's milder, that matters less. After. But as we've said wow. repeatedly, if a lot of people get it all at the same time, that could still be a problem for a period of time. But either way, this is going to happen quickly. This is going to happen quickly. It's because going to happen so quick. Contagious. No need to destroy the economy. Uh, um, so co com common cold now less transmissible than Omicron, right? So Omicron is now more transmissible than the common colds which are around at the moment. Yeah. It is spreading faster than common colds. Yeah, this is how transmissible that. it is. Um, one or one in two chance common cold symptoms will test positive for. Yeah, COVID. I hear that. That's how all. There you go. That's so that, that explains. Tim Spector, Zoe Day. NFL, saying. NBA. So if you think you've got a cold at the moment and you live in the UK, there's a 50% chance that is Omicron, mm -hmm. COVID. It's a 50% chance use. of Omicron. SARS -CoV Very little old COVID. me. Come on. So if you've got common cold features, get your lateral flow tests like I did just a couple of days ago. Tested. I found I was negative. But now, if you've got common cold symptoms, there's a 50% chance that that will come up positive. And quite incredible. Quite, quite, quite really. No quite more incredible. Dr. Robotnik and Eggman. Uh, Let's put them to rest, y'all. Test. Avoid people who have cold if you don't want to get Omicron. Yeah, I always what have. we need to do is instead of having the Omicron infections go like this, we need it to sort of go a bit more like that. We need it to flatten it out a bit so that the very small percentage that are hospitalised can be easily coped with. Pings, uh, the, the app on the phone, um, now too slow to be effective. So basically the NHS app. I mean, obviously we would advise people to keep using it, but it's of limited value now because Omicron onset is two days. So the first symptoms of Omicron are coming two days after infection. Two days. So with Delta, 
you would be infected with uh, Delta, and then you would get the first symptoms five days later. Mm -hmm. With Omicron, you get the first symptoms, on average, two days later. Two days. It's just too quick. For no them. need to disturb, yeah, no need to close down for a year. Quickly. Very useful. You need to be aware when you get these common cold type features. So much shorter generation time, people getting symptomatic much earlier. But Omicron will also run its course faster. Oh, really? Usually all over within four, four or, five, or days. five days. So much more like a common cold. That's kind of good news. Uh, infection risk after eight days, Professor Spector says, is negligible. So negligible. So we don't need to actually isolate for 10 days anymore. We can get people back to work. So eight days after the first symptoms, your antibodies and your immune cells will have got rid of essentially, we could say, all of the virus in your body that is capable of reproducing. Therefore, you will no longer be infectious. So negligible risk of infection after eight days. It's running a quicker course. So Isle of Man, um, you're saying people are getting back to work earlier because um, shut down longer they, they than eight days is not intentional. Of time, but when their so has some resolved, other type so of if their symptoms are resolved in three days. Okay, I get and they've had two negative lateral flow tests. They can go back to work. So people could end up just isolating. They can go back to three work. Or four days Man, that's good. The test negative. Now. The most important thing I wanted to tell you there was that if you've got common cold symptoms in the yeah, UK at the moment, that sure destroys any the other thing I to reinforce really is the symptoms. Now this is the Zoe Dr. data. Fossey probably uh, happy the happy about this. this. Team have collated from seventeen thousand Omicron cases. I think most common feature is a runny nose. Runny nose. Second most okay. common feature is a headache. Headache. Third okay. most common, common feature cold. is fatigue. Fourth most common okay. feature is sneezing. Fifth most yeah, common sound like a cold, is a sore that, throat. That's good news. So you get those things, you think you've got a cold, but for 50% of us who have those symptoms now, in the UK, 50% of us will be um, COVID positive, SARS coronavirus 2. Oh, so a test COVID positive. COVID caused okay. by Omicron infection. Okay. Now, I think. That's um, something to think about. I think I might leave that there. I said the most important things I want to say. Now, the, the mainstream media is not covering Africa at all, really, which is remarkably disappointing. So we are. So we're going to get. This is the truth, man. Thanks for watching. Fair use. Uh, it was Dr. Campbell. Dr. Campbell. Dr. Dr. There's another doctor named William Lee that has a video on the science of how the body heals itself. I think that's a must watch. But I'm not going to say more. I think he pretty much covered what needs to be covered. It's kind of good news that, if, if, you know, if we do have a lockdown, that there's no need to have it longer than eight days. Because after eight days, you know, y'all heard what he said. He, not me, he, he said it. Look at his views. He's still up. He said it. I'd like to thank you, YouTube, for being fair with me with my videos. Um, that's kind of good news. It's something for us to think about. We need to do, continue doing what we've been doing. But that's good news to know that there's no need for any lockdowns longer than eight days. Which tells me if there are, there's some type of other motive involved. Come on, U.S. Let's keep being the richest country in the world. Let's keep doing what we've been doing. There's no need. Come on, rich people. Find something to do. Don't get bored on this room, pull like squid game stuff. Come on now. Thanks for watching.